how to benefit from content reuse that's my subject for you today I had a recording on Facebook live this morning about it you'll save a lot of time ton of time and make your life easier with reusing your content Nico here from nicobagodoblo.com enjoy the video Nico here from nicobagodoblo.com inspired to live free and my subject for you today is how to benefit from content reuse and uh, definitely a lot of people are having issues with this subject or with this area because uh, it's one thing to create your content your blog or your posts or whatever in general and not being able to reuse it or benefit from it from your content as much as possible as best as possible so Creating your content is very important because you share value and through that you can attract people to you. So the content, your content, the quality, the value of your content is directly related to the amount of people get attracted to you or which type of people will be attracted to you. So always have that in mind. You need to create content um, for your target audience. We talked about this on previous uh, trainings or on previous posts and videos and everything uh, you can look over on my homepage at nicobabadoblo.com I have a few areas that I talk about this make sure you look around on the um, on the what's it called on the attraction marketing area for sure and social media marketing definitely <clears throat> but that's not the subject for me right now right now I want to talk to you about uh, uh, how to benefit from content reuse and to do that I created a little uh, spreadsheet that will definitely help you out it's begun to really uh, paint a picture for me on how things are going to progress with that strategy so let me switch over my screen to my uh, spreadsheet and it should be visible right now so let me check just in case yeah it should so this is a blank a blank uh, piece of sheet or for spreadsheet <laughs> that didn't sound good <laughs> uh, a, a spreadsheet that I created at the beginning of the year and okay the obvious is the week the day let me blow it up a bit more so that can be better for you so even though this is just relevant information but definitely you need to have your day which day are you posting your content block titles all right and then everything else you are using what else you are using your social your social media this is just a page section for me uh, if I posted it on YouTube on Aweber Aweber is my autoresponder and there are many out there uh, MailChimp or whatever there are a few options I'm using Aweber <coughs> if I posted my content on the blogger platform on Facebook on Google Plus on Pinterest on Instagram on LinkedIn on stumble upon and of course on status brew I do a lot of status brew actually a huge amount of my automation in uh, my Twitter profiles I do it with status brew and I shared some uh, ways to come to benefit from it so make sure you watch my social media area on my home page have a lot of stuff in there and of course if you are watching this on YouTube you should be already on my social media um, uh, playlist let's say and it might also be on attraction marketing I don't know yet we will decide but the point is that you want to have um, people uh, you want to have your content be posted okay on all these areas so you want your content to be posted on all of these areas why because the more content you post everywhere the more uh, chances are for your content to be seen by the people you want to approach or to be approached by let's say does it make sense <coughs> then I also have the URL link that it should be there and of course a bitly link pretty link whatever you're having and let me go one more if you want to put your 
text over there as well. Some text you will be using. Okay, these last four are pretty much self-explanatory as well. Now, the thing with all these, with, with your social media sites or options or uh, platforms, you don't want to just post it once and forget about it. Okay, you don't want to just post it once on Facebook, for example, and forget about it. Why? Because, well, does anybody look on Facebook yesterday's or a week's old stuff or a month's old stuff? Posts? Typically not. I, I don't. For sure I don't. And I haven't met people that go over, <coughs> you know, on a person's page and look for their content they had last month. The same with other social media platforms. So you want to be able to have a system in which it's going to help you how you can go back from your content and bring it back to surface. Okay, this way you can always have uh, content for your audience on many platforms. Do you get the point? You want to reuse your content. That's what I'm saying in other words. Now, let, let me show you the power of this thing. Uh, if I put this screen. These are actually my posts from these past two weeks. Okay. Now, if you go ahead in time, let's say two months from now, six months from now, a year from now, this will be filled up with posts. That means... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. That means... I can come back to this from the beginning of this year, okay, and use that post again, that your long-term stability, episode number three of the Nico Walk Show that you can see here, if you can, let me blow it up, okay. I can come over here, get this piece of content, decide if I want to use it again, come over to my website, just click on the link, remember I have the link there. So come over onto my website and I'm able to go straight up into this post without even searching through my stuff. Okay. Come down here <coughs> and be able to share it very fast. How do I do it? How can I do it? Well, I have this little plugin here. I think it's called Shared Holic or something like that. Okay. Uh, I can click on the tweet and it's going to send it just like that, for example. Why not, right? Yeah, it's Shareholic. That's exactly. That's a little plugin for your WordPress um, blog platform that you can use it, install it, and uh, have this bar. You can fully configure it, of course, okay, and uh, put more stuff into it. Now, Respectively, I can share it on Facebook, on Google+, Plus, on Pinterest, on LinkedIn, send it as email. And if you click on this button here, <laughs> I mean, if you have more stuff, you can put everything over there. I mean, look at it. <laughs> it's crazy. And the stumble upon is right there for me. Okay. So there are ways you can use this. You can... Uh, instead of just click and share, instead of just click share on Facebook, for example, uh, <coughs> you can add your own text to it, so make it new content, for example, or remember this one, whatever you want to do. So you have options on how you can save time. You could even take this link, come over to Facebook, and share it there okay or paste that link somewhere else you want to paste it at can you see the power of this thing and why it can be very very um, a huge time saver you don't want to go over to your blog and decide what to get you waste time you don't want to go over to your blog and see what's relevant or see what inspires you to do and whatever and get that and start sharing that. If you have it here on your on your uh, spreadsheet, 
you can go one at a time and make a mark of it. Let's say <coughs> I started now, this is uh, the first of the, I don't know, 2018. I'll begin reposting my stuff from last year. I come here, I did this, ah, make it yellow, this is done. The next day I come from the next one, post it everywhere, of course, it's done. The following day I take this up, it's done. And therefore you have a progress of how you are progressing and if you have shared stuff and so on and so forth. All right now I'm not posting anything on Saturdays and Sundays. Guess what? I can repost this stuff on Saturdays and Sundays. You see what I mean? Doesn't take too long, I don't know, a couple of minutes, five minutes at the most. I mean, the content is there, it's ready for me. Why have it shown only there only once if somebody gets onto it? You see the point? Now, with Status Brew, this is totally different because I already entered this stuff in my Status Brew automation. So Status Brew on its own, it's sharing that information, that post regularly. And there is a schedule for it. Again, I have um, uh, information on my homepage. Uh, and it can help you out on that. On social media, for sure, it should be there. Okay, how, how to use status brew and so on and so forth. I have a lot of content here, so make sure you come and check it out. A lot of stuff. Okay, back to my spreadsheet. So this is empty and you can start putting information over there. Right? Does it make sense? I hope, I hope this can help you out. For sure it's, <coughs> it's definitely going to be helping me out a lot. So, that's basically what I wanted to say. Let me uh, come over here and look at your full screen. So, I hope you got the concept of what I want to say. You definitely want to reuse your content. You definitely want to reuse your content. It's going to save you time if you have a schedule or a layout of how things can progress. Therefore, you don't have to waste time uh, figuring out what to do now, what to do next, what to share the following day, and so on and so on and forth. By organizing your content like that, okay, and having, uh, knowing where to share it and make a check mark on each one, like I did on my spreadsheet, uh, then you can easily follow up and make sure you don't miss sharing something where it needs to be shared, okay? So you want to basically syndicate all your content everywhere, on all your social media places, profiles, sites, whatever you want to call it. That's very important. It will definitely set you up to a different level and uh, distinguish you among the crowd for sure. Okay. Again, you will save a lot of time. So. That's what I wanted to share with you today. It was kind of short, but I believe to the point uh, value is very important. And I believe through this, you got quite a good amount.